I draw patients from, um, from the St. Louis area, from Mount Vernon area, area and uh, the patients come to see me with the condition of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy throughout the Midwest and many patients drive up to six hours to come and see me. I created the Hypertrophic Cardiomyopathy Center in the Midwest and I have a special interest in uh, treating patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and also have a special interest in preventing sudden death in athletes. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a condition where there's a gene that's transmitted to the person and they develop thickening of the heart muscle and that thickening can cause uh, different manifestations of the condition. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is the most common genetic heart condition. Some patients have no symptoms and some patients can have symptoms which range from chest pain to palpitations to passing out and then there's the um, unusual patient where it can just manifest as, as sudden death in a family. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is the most common cause of sudden death in athletes under the age of 35. Um, many of these athletes can have no symptoms before they, they die and uh, it's extremely important that athletes get appropriately treat, uh, screened and uh, specifically to look for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. If they do have hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, then we restrict them from uh, participating in competitive sports. The risk factors for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is really um, a family history of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Um, many times we see uh, individuals who have hypertrophic cardiomyopathy who have no family history and so um, it may be that the families weren't screened adequately or there could be some spontaneous cases where the kids just develop the condition without the parent being affected. All um, kids and adults, um, including uh, people who are uh, over the age of 50, should be screened prior to engaging in any sports because uh, exercise can put uh, any individual at risk for uh, sudden death or for a bad outcome uh, related to their heart. So it's very important that kids, adults, um, get appropriately screened by an expert who's familiar with the conditions that can cause harm in uh, sports. The uh, best way to diagnose hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is with a history and a physical exam, uh, getting an electrocardiogram and then an echocardiogram. An echocardiogram is an ultrasound of the heart which can accurately assess the heart function, the thickness of the heart and the valvular function. Many patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy can be treated with uh, just watchful waiting and uh, giving them the right advice on how to exercise and take care of themselves. Um, there are some patients who have mild symptoms that can be managed with uh, beta blockers and then there's some patients who have severe symptoms who may need uh, invasive therapy including surgery. The surgery that's involved with uh, managing patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a very specialized surgery that involves resecting some of the muscle tissue that may be obstructing the heart when it functions. If patients have uh, surgery for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which is called a myomectomy, uh, they usually feel better immediately and within about a month they can resume their usual activities and gradually uh, get back to their peak. If uh, patients want to see me, they can call the office at 314-43-HEART uh, and they can ask for a consultation to see me. Thank you.